The National Association of People with Living with Disabilities in Kaduna State has displayed its support for one of its members, Lois Outer. Outer is aspiring to represent Kaura constituency in Jamaa Little Government Council in the state. About 100 groups of physical, physically disabled people showed solidarity with the aim to give voice equality and inclusiveness to persons living with disabilities who, according to them, have been marginalized in the Nigerian society. Plus, TV News correspondent Habila Darofai filed in this report. Since the return of democracy in the state, this was the first time a woman with physical disabilities will be contesting for a political office in the State House of Assembly. Declaring her intention at a state rehabilitation center in Kaduna, Lois Alta says her mission is to explore her international contacts and global network to bridge noticeable development gaps in the constituency. Voting for me means making Kaduna State House of Assembly inclusive in 2023. Voting for me means inclusion. Voting for me means equal representation. Voting for me means growth and development. Mm. Voting for me means persons with disabilities participating in every sector of government. And I'm not going to be there for only persons with disabilities, but for young people and for women. Also, the national president of persons with physical disability, Comrade Rilwan Muhammad, is optimistic that Alta can deliver the seat for APC and also commended her giant stride in making PWD's voice be heard. I have never come across where a lady with disability, particularly physical disability, that have aspired for a political position. Persons with disability should have enough space, not just in creating a disability leaders that they have it from a national to what level, but they are even given opportunity for persons with disability to aspire. Similarly, the resident commissioner of independent electoral commissioner, Aine Kaduna State, Hajiya Ashmao Meikuri, says there is enough provision for women and persons living with disabilities to contest any political position in the 2023 general elections across the country. We want the PWDs, we want the gender people to be involved, and we are looking forward to more women participation, to PWDs being also elected as candidates in the 2023 elections and subsequent elections. Some of the physically disabled persons express happiness over the interest of their members. I really feel happy and appreciated her for coming out to tell the world, the community, the society, that women with disability can do it. So she has sold our power. Recall that persons with disabilities had long agitated for inclusion in the country's leadership until President Mamadou Buhari signed the Disability Act 2018, encouraging their participation. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.